What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and wail. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stirred the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is good from meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. 
Do not test the king's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Saxon Pyre! Oh, yeah. Leave nothing standing! You old freakers! You are tell truth! And now it is ended! And you will feel my axe in your hand! And vengeance steer your swords! And now it is ended! And you will feel my axe in your gut, piglet! Uh -oh. Jesus Christ, help me stand! Fire and flame! Burn it all! Lord Jesus Christ, help me stand against the filthy heathen threat! Your godson has forsaken you, Saxon! Prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest rooms just along the road. Come on, men! Move! Sent to their guard! The 
The ruins are close. Keep moving. More Saxons! Draw your weapons! Fight smart. You do shut him up. Where's your king now, Saxons? Cowering like a mouse! Every Saxon in... We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they are the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and leave my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or oh, bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. No, I... get the murdering Whoa, dog! Shit. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for... My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him. This place is hell. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands.
told you, Gotham wouldn't leave us here. I told you, Gotham wouldn't leave us here. We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. Do you think he kept his word? He swore he would not kill them. I cannot say for certain. Just hope we find them soon. Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be beaten in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thor, thank you, my friend. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let us... You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings. Poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Just raise my hood here.
Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly, through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda. Take Erdkian Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance. Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. It won't be gentle. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. 
cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. I will never bow to Alfred! You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No, I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That... I cannot allow. about us. Good room. I need you fighting with the rest. Find a way in!
Did you see Alfred? No, but your Saxon boys were ambushed. One of these wounded. Hold these men back! I'll find them. Unwald! Come, get up! This is no time for weep wailing! I... I cannot. Yeah. And then there's a blackness closing in around my eyes. <laughs> it frightens me. Forgive me, Humwald. I should have been quicker. Oh, no. no. You were my staunch protector, Ellerich. Have you seen graver wounds? I will carry him from the fray. That farmhouse there. I will get. Hunwald, uh. uh. <coughs> listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you no man ever had a worthier son. Nothing more you can... I need to see if Broder has taken the garrison. Inside. Hurry! These waves of reinforcements are hell sent! Yes. Hmm. 
Thor lends me strength. Most of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. us on his day of feasts! They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from Jarl. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? 
Yes, there's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died, and now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, his kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I shall return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger.
I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own... No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely, and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. Hamptonshire has fallen, and with it, the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest, then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Bassam contact you in Norway. He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. I think this will be hard to hear, but Bassam attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd. He loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I have something here for you. 
Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kyotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you. After I silence got him. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What can you tell me of Vindland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me, and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now, and end the life of Gorham Kjotvison where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Stranger. Nessa, is it? I'm Eivor. Randvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land. Is that right? Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor. Before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. Say the word and we are off. I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now.
several tweaks in the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorm Kjotvison. The son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I had better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us? You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildy! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, he says, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorm without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse, not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorm is. <laughs> 